In this video I'm going to show you how you can work with the mini Excel and data menu in Empower Charts. So let's start with the mini Excel and how you can open it. By clicking on your chart the action bar appears right above it. Right here you can find the button Edit Data. If you click on it a new window pops up, what we call the mini Excel. There's also another way of how you can access the mini Excel. You can also simply double click on your chart and the mini Excel pops up. Now let's have a closer look on the mini Excel. First of all, it is important to know that the blue range border that you see right here defines what should be put in your chart and what not. So if you add anything, for example, right here, it won't be added to your chart. A normal chart needs a header row and a column row that you can see right here. Right here you have a lot of buttons that you can use for different functions. For example, you can use the normal clipboard functions of cut, copy, paste, paste and keep the destination format or only transfer the format. Um, moreover, you can insert a new row or a new column and delete a row or a column. Right here you can format your cells. For example, choose a fill color if you want that. By clicking on this button you can clear the format and all the formatting will be lost. If you want to undo or redo several actions you can do this by clicking on these arrows. So I'm just going to undo this action and my formatting reappears. The functions that you can access in the table area of your mini Excel are very useful. First of all you can reverse your rows and change the order of them as you can see. You can also reverse the columns. When using the button transpose you have the option to swap rows and columns. Mo Moreover, you can sort your rows ascending according to their sum or descending according to their sum. So as you can see, the row of my column sums is now descending. But I'm quickly going to change all the settings back to the beginning. And if you want to work with a big Excel, you can click right here and as you can see a big Excel window opens up where you can access all of the Excel functions. Now let's have a closer look on the data menu. In the data menu you can define in which way your series should be ordered. A series means the data points that you want to display in one color and in this case my series should be displayed by rows. And as you can see, if I switch this to by columns, my series are now the years. And all the years are displayed in one color. And the series are now the categories on my category axis. So I'm going to switch this back to by rows. Moreover, I can define in which way my series should be ordered in the PowerPoint presentation, if I want them to be ordered as an Excel or reversed. So now series 3 would be on top. And I can also choose if my categories should be ordered as an Excel or reversed. So now 2022 would be the first category on my category axis. Right here I can create an Excel link to an Excel file if I want that. And if there's already an Excel link existing, other options would appear right here. But there's another video where I cover the topic of Excel links. I hope this video helped you to understand the mini Excel and the data menu in Empower. Thanks for watching and goodbye.